Hey guys! Welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is actually a weekend vlog. Today's Friday, July 28th, and I'm going to see Joe to see. Um, this this little weekend vlog, you guys might meet Mr. Virtual. I'm not sure. You might meet him because oh, I have some news. We talked and we are officially, I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. Y'all haven't said that word since 2000 and, okay, when did I get married? 2009? So before 2009, I have not said. Actually, 2006, because from 2006 to 2009, I called my boyfriend my fiance and then he turned into my husband and now he's my ex-husband. So I haven't had a boyfriend since then. Which he was like, you've been, as long as, as long as we've had, since we had that talk about being exclusive, I, I considered you, you my girlfriend. And I was like, to hear him say the word girlfriend, I was like, I literally <gasps> went like that. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that out loud. Like, you heard that? Anyways, um, so yeah, I feel like now that we're like official, like boyfriend, girlfriend, the talk's been had. Maybe it's time y'all meet him. I don't know. We'll see if he wants to be on camera tonight. But we're going to say Jonas say. And I'm going to show y'all my outfit. I have it picked out. I think it's what I'm going to wear. This is one of the hottest days we've had so far this year. And I'm like, <sighs> it's been so mild at night with like very little humidity and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, it's going to be hot. So I'm definitely going to put on some makeup. I'm going to go hop in the shower. But I want to show you guys a Fabletics haul. And then also on Sunday, we're going to meet the fitness marshal. It's going to be a really good weekend. And then we go on, go on our cruise. So Sunday, we're also going to pack together. We might do some packing tomorrow too, uh, just because I just don't want to figure anything. And I'm just so excited to go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that it is finally here. Bahamas, here we come. Woohoo! Anyways, let's get on with this little fablet. It's tiny. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. I've said this in like all of the Fabletics that y'all have seen. The only reason why I'm like showing you guys is just because like I have it just in case like y'all are looking for workout clothes. But like seriously, these shorts are not Fabletics. These are Torrid. Don't, don't look at the unmade bed. But this sports bra, girl, it's a 3X cleavage. Like I feel so good in this sports bra. It's white. It's so cute. It has the double little straps. And then look at the back. Look at the back. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, freaking yes. This color, first of all, Fabletics and their leggings are freaking phenomenal. Most of my workout clothes are from Fabletics as far as the leggings are concerned. And now most of my shorts are now from Fabletics because I've got a ton of them. But this is... It says Corey Gray. I don't think that this is Corey Gray. But as you can see, it is very bright. I like these shorts, but I really love the ones that I showed y'all last week where they have the pockets. But I don't care because these are going to be kept. Because look at, I mean, I'm, wear, I'm wearing these. I'm wearing these to drive to Charleston for sure because they're so, so bright, so beautiful. But these are the Boost 6-inch shorts. I got them in the size 4X. And isn't it just fabulous and tabulous? So Fabletics is 70% off using my link down below in the description box. If you are a new member or if you just want to use a different email address. Okay, so I just got another pair of black. I don't think I'm going to keep these though because I already have one. Then I also have... A pair of navy ones and the only difference in the other black ones that I showed y'all is the way that they look in the back so this one as you can see has like is it like leopard print or something and then the other ones I showed y'all last week's vlog was like yellow and white lines in the back this is a pocket I think I am going to take these back only because I, I have a lot of them now and most of them, I really prefer the ones with the pockets on the side. But let me tell you, 
my battery's about to die, but these feel amazing. It's the power hold fabric, compression, not too tight, sucks you in though. I love them. Cannot say enough about how much I love them. This one is the Boost Power Hold High Waisted 6 inch short in the black slash burnt okra wavy something. So yeah, this is my Fabletics haul. I'm going to show y'all what I'm aware to go see Joe to see my seventh and eighth year eight, my seventh and eight year old, my seventh and eighth year old self is dying right now because she would have died to go see Joe to see. I mean, I'm still a fan. Obviously I'm going to see them, but my seventh and eighth grade self, oh, oh, she was a real big fan. I mean, she listened to nothing but Joe to see for like the longest time. So yeah. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'll show y'all my makeup and my outfit and all of that stuff. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see my boyfriend. And I want him to tell y'all his name. So, I'll see y'all in a few. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I have this top from Old Navy. It looks like it's about a storm, y'all. Um, these shorts I got from Walmart. And then I just have my Chuck Taylors on. Just sitting here like, what do you wear? By the way, my, my bed's unmade because I just took the blanket off because it's like lawn seating and stuff where we're going to be sitting. But I was like, what do you wear to a concert? Like, I don't even know. Um, so I just picked this. It's summer, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're going to go. And I'm excited. And I'm not bringing this. So any vlogging from here on out is going to be done on my phone because I don't think you can bring cameras into the place that we're going. But here's my makeup, everyday jewelry, no rings or anything, and just my regular watch band. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, everyone. <laughs> I got to hold it up because you're tall. <laughs> um, this is, what's your name? Fabulous Miss Ma'am. <laughs> so this is Mr. Virtual. William. His name is William. And one of you guys actually gave him, well, kind of unknowingly gave him that nickname, but it was Mr. Fabulous. And one of you said you should name him, nickname him Mr. Fabulous, Miss Ma'am. And he, I sent the, the message to him or the comment. And then he was like, No, it's Fabulous, Miss Ma'am. <laughs> Just Fabulous, Miss Ma'am. Everyone from now on can call me Fabulous, Miss Ma'am. That's it. There you go. Because it's better. Yeah, I think so. I was like, no, that's my that's my name though, Miss Fabulous Miss Ma'am. Not anymore. I took it. Well, my name was Miss Ma'am, anyways. But anyways, this is William. You guys have been dying to meet him, so here he is. He actually um, bought this shirt on our first date, and I thought it was it was kind of cutesy that yeah. he's wearing it today. Our first, his, well, our first concert together. Yeah. He's only been to one. Tell me your first concert. Ever clear. Comment down below your first concert. Mine was Debbie Gibson and then Nuke is on the Block. Ava, what was your first concert? And this is Control's very, very first concert. So we're excited, but woohoo! Jodeci, here we come! <laughs> I'm dying. I'm really not dying. Oh my god, that was so amazing! What did you think? I did not like it. <laughs> because I didn't get a t-shirt. <laughs> 
and even though I don't like Jodeci, I think I should have gotten a t-shirt at least. And I got two. <laughs> That's it. No. It's not fair. These nails are too long. I told you that's why I can't I can't do those those nails. Okay, y'all. First of all, Drew Hill. First of all, let me tell y'all, that place was so disorganized. But we finally got in and Drew Hill was performing at at the time that we came in. And I was like, I look at the screen and I'm like, that looks like Cisco. And I was like, no, he like really looks like Cisco. And then I'm like sitting here like saying it over and over. Like, I'm like, no, for real, that like really looks like him. So I'm just like, let me just see if that's him. Cause I didn't know if Drew Hill was a person or if it was a group. I couldn't remember cause I really wasn't a fan. So then I was like, yeah, that's Cisco. And then he played the thong song, which Ava knows. You have a pimple right there, I think. And she was jamming out to it. What? How's it going in? It's like that thong, 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 thong. <laughs> Wait, did you not know that song? The last song he played? Cisco. The thong song. The last one? Where he was like, Let me see oh. that thong. Oh, I thought it was Let Me See That Bone. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> She said, you didn't catch that. She thought that Cisco was saying, let me see that phone. <laughs> I love it when people get the lyrics way wrong. <laughs> I will say if you grew up in the 90s or were a baby in the 90s like me, then you would know what he was talking about seeing that video, just saying. Well, Are you listening to the thong song? Just because I was like, what are they, I want to know what they're talking about. He's and listening to it right now. So, oh, so. But I had no idea what it was when you were No, it was, it was kind of hard to understand what they were saying. Did you, did you know they were saying thong or did you say they were, did you think they were saying phone? It's, okay, thong and phone kind of sound similar. <laughs> She's in here, thong and phone? No. Let me see that phone. <laughs> I okay, feel whatever. that makes it even worse. <laughs> okay, listen. Like, he, he's like, oh my gosh, she's cheating on me. <laughs> so he's like, let me see that phone. <laughs> but, like, you have to think, we didn't have phones like we did. Well, they in the 90s. The teens in the 90s, because I wasn't a teen, I was a kid, you know? But the teens in the 90s, they didn't have phones. <laughs> Anyways... Is so much fun. Kentrell actually likes SUV. I, I keep wanting to say SW, SUV. He likes SWV. They're not a car. No, they're not a car. They're not cars. They were actually three. And this one girl, ooh, she got down. I don't know who she was, but she got down. They were, they were really good. And then women were performing in these like long sleeves, long pant, like jumpsuit, like sequin. I know they were dying because it was so, it's like, y'all see, I'm like still sweating and I'm in the air conditioning right now. But um, yeah, SWV, they sang Week and I was like, oh my God, my song. i tell you, that was my song back in the day. Like anytime that came on the radio, I would say just that, that is my song. So and then Jodeci came out and they were sitting on their butts looking bored as heck. And I'm like, how can you be bored? Jodeci. Okay, Control wasn't bored, but this one was. Tell them all about how you thought about Jodeci. As you sit there, do y'all see how she's eating a kiwi? This is a kiwi she's eating. Okay. So, <laughs> it was good, but like, they were good, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. It was good, but were they good? <gasps> Ava! Casey! Casey is amazing. His voice, like, I kept, like, whenever I wasn't, like, you know, like, in the moment, you know, just, like, sitting there thinking, like, oh, my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm here. Like, his voice, his voice is 
so good. I was always a big, well, like, I was always a big Devonte fan. Like, let's just be real, because, you know, he's pretty. But, like, KC and his voice, ooh. I actually used to like KC a lot, too. But, um, yeah, so I was like, oh, like, it was so good. Anyways, this is the thing that we got outside of the venue. So it just says summer 2023. I did not know that Charlotte kicked off their tour. So Charlotte is like the city apparently uh, lately because Charlotte kicked off their tour and Charlotte is also kicking off the fitness marshals tour when they're actually here tonight. I'm like, I wonder what they're doing. I wanna go meet them. Like I wanna go meet up with them, like go hang out with them because they seem really cool. Anyways. This is what it says, and yeah, it just says Jodeci Tour. And then on the back, it has a picture of all of the groups. And as I'm sitting here, I'm like, I had no idea who Drew Hill was, all these, all these people. But I really didn't like look at that part, I guess. I just looked at that and saw that the tour dates were on there. So I was like, oh, heck yeah. But anyways, William goes to the bathroom and Jody C's performing or whatever. It was like one of their last songs. And he comes back with this shirt. And I look at him and I was like, I already have a shirt. And he was like, well, I figured you want another one. So he got me this one. And Ava is low key jealous. Actually, she's not low key because she's like really jealous. <laughs> Anyways, that's Jody C. And then the tour dates. And I just had such a good time. Like, I tell you what. I love concerts. Like, I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight because I'm, it's 12, 16, and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. that's just how I am. Oh, and I had to show y'all this. So, William and Contrell go to get food and drinks and whatnot, and I just wanted a water. And so, William gives me this, and I'm like, uh, I didn't want an energy drink because that's what I thought it was. And I kind of looked at him, and then I'm like, is it a beer? Is it an energy drink? And he's like, no, it's water. And I'm like, no, like not that I don't trust you, but like, there's no way that this is water. Look, it's called liquid death. I've never heard of that. That's been you, a no, I've never heard of this. 2018, I think. Are you serious? Yes, it's been out for a long time. Comment down below if you guys have ever heard of liquid death. I've, I've never heard of it. But it just says mountain water, drinking water from the Alps, and then it says murder your thirst. I'm literally keeping this. And then William was like, write the date on the bottom. At first? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to write the date on the bottom and then put Jodeci so I can remember it was a Jodeci concert. At first, I thought it was like, like, um, I can't remember what they're called. I thought it was just like Papa Jenna or something. I thought oh. I was trying to like, be like, be better for the environment. I don't know. Isn't that what it is, though? I mean, it's a I don't know. This late without being tired. It's that easy. Oh, I'm, like, going to be hyped for a while, because that's how hard. that's what concerts do to me. I like, like y'all. Y'all have to see. I don't know if I can, like, I don't think any of this is, like, his school information. But look at my handsome boy. Should I say young man? He's not a boy anymore. Oh, didn't they come out so good? So I went to order them. Tell me why one eight by 10, that's all I want. I want an eight by 10 to put over here, $77. Why are senior pictures so ridiculously overpriced? Cause like the packages start at like 600 and something dollars. Insane. What are you doing? You gotta talk, you gotta come talk to the vlog some more? They she always was talk a tip. spider. It mm. was so scary. Mm. It was like, I don't even know, but I saw it and I was the first to see it. I go, mm -hmm. I turn around, I'm like, good job, do not look. Cause he's <laughs> terrified of bugs. <laughs> so I'm like, don't look. It was like, me and Katharina are talking. The head was like this oh. big. Okay, don't look. <laughs> the head was like that big. I'm waiting till the morning. Goes out there. And then the body was like that big, and the legs were like that. 
and it was disgusting. And it, it looked like it was a mama. Obama. It did. No, it did. That's my first thought. I was like, oh, that thing is pregnant. It looked like it was about to hatch oh, some babies. Yeah. And, oh, wait, it's near our house and one of the. <laughs> I'm not taking Bella out tomorrow morning. That's you. You better go for a walk or something. I can't take Bella for a walk. I'm actually not. I'm doing yoga tomorrow because I got an hour and a half workout class that I have to do on. Um, Saturday, Sunday. Oh my gosh, this is like literally the best freaking, like the best freaking end to the summer. Cause this is essentially the end to our summer Jodeci concert. Like I'm still like, <laughs> and then <laughs> control, control, they can hear that. Oh, they can. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like dance midnight. Dance. We're like all a hype. It's actually 1230. Well, I was vacuuming She's up the bathroom. She's well, gonna do it on me. Sunday. She's going to tell me ask what's that rolling upstairs. Oh. She's going to ask what? She's going to ask, what are you rolling up there? What are you rolling? She asks that like every time. Anyways, y'all look at my brows. Hopefully they still like die down a little bit. The tint's pretty intense still. But yeah, Jodeci concert. Tomorrow is just laundry. William's going to come over and we're going to hang out or whatever. My boyfriend. I forgot I was calling him my boyfriend, not William. Y'all gonna make out or whatever? Yeah, we're gonna make out. <laughs> Anyways, um, me and my boyfriend, he's gonna come over and we're gonna hang out. <laughs> she said it before y'all got to. My boyfriend's. Get this face wash out of my. No, I will not. You're the one who no, put on got, the no, long nails. Like, turn it up this way and like fold it. And then like By the way, Ava found the car. Cause we were like, where did we park? Yeah, because I'm just so cannot remember. I'm so good at this. No, seriously, you really are. She was the one who found the car. She was like, I think it's over there. And I think no no no, it's not here, it's over that way. She literally found it. Amazing. Anyways, um, and then Sunday, go meet the biggest Marshall. <laughs> and I get to dance. All right, I'm going to seriously, like, I need to go wash my face. I really need to go get in the shower because I am, like, a, a sweaty. I'm so, so like, soaking wet. My hair is literally soaking wet under underneath there. Anyways, I will see y'all. I probably won't see y'all tomorrow because, like I said, I'm just doing laundry I might see y'all tomorrow because I might start picking out my dresses that I'm going to wear. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I forgot that I need to do the contour trick. So we are going to take Loving Tan. You guys have never seen this before. Then wear my new shirt. I'm wearing it in bed. I know. I shouldn't. But I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand. And then I have this little brush from Physician's Formula. And I also have this little chisel brush. I don't know where this is from. Maybe crown brushes. And then I'm just going to take the self-tanner. And just kind of go around the forehead. Now, it's going to look crazy tonight, okay? It's gonna look real crazy tonight. Let me put this up. But what I do is make sure to like get it in the hairline and stuff. But the reason I'm doing this is so that it can look like I'm wearing makeup without actually wearing makeup. Now I was not able to take off my, what's it called? My, uh, I will say one thing is like whenever this starts to fade out, it does look a little weird. But, um, so I'm really gonna try to blend that out here as much as I can with this little end of the physician's formula brush. But, what was I saying? Oh, I will also put some here. But like, yeah, I, I could not take off the 
eyeshadow because I just got the lashes done and they're like this is another reason why I can't I could never have these lashes oh let me finish my tasks for 75 soft which I finished them I just need to finish them in here like check it off oh oh did I not take a progress picture y'all I need to go hold on but yeah I'm just gonna like pat the do I have a progress picture And then, shh. I need to go ahead and do this. So I'll be back, hold on. All right, let's make sure, I always say like make sure you get, even if you're doing self tanner, regular bronzer, make sure you really get that up in your hairline. Y'all, I just completed 70 days of 75 soft. I only have five days left. I am going to be in the Bahamas, in Nass, it's either Nassau or the other one, I can't remember which one, but either one of the two, I'm going to be there finishing 75 Soft. I was like, what a way to finish this challenge, like, golly, I'm so incredibly blessed and thankful and grateful for everything that's happening in my life right now, like, I'm just like, wow like I'm just I'm so freaking happy and I know that I deserve this and I have been waiting for so long you know what I mean so it's just amazing now I will say this is going to look crazy okay it's gonna look super crazy tonight but I promise you it's gonna look so much better tomorrow I still can't believe I saw Joe to see like <laughs> so aesthetic Anyways, I will see y'all tomorrow when we take this off of our face, and I'll show you what it looks like. Good morning. It is Saturday. I am not. No. <laughs> I could not sleep until 3 in the morning. I didn't go to sleep till 3 in the morning. Oh, I want to go back to sleep so bad, but I'm just so excited. I get to meet the fitness marshal tomorrow, and Allison and Haley and do dance class with them and then I leave for the Bahamas. Like, how can I sleep? I really don't have a ton to do because I did a good bit yesterday, like as far as like getting like all of the necessities that I was missing, getting the snacks for the road trip. Uh, I do need to um, switch out my nails because I'm not leaving these pink ones on. And this one fell off last night. <coughs> So I was like, just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I don't know you, stop calling. Do you think I should answer it? I'm gonna let them leave a message. This is who? This person just said, this is sap. Call me. I don't know a sap. I don't know you, sir. Or ma'am. Stop calling me. I don't know a sap. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to put my contacts in. And then, um, I'm going to take off this self tan, And we're going to see what it looks like together. All right, so I just wet this washcloth. And just basically like go around. I would like actually wet my face, but try and like not to get my brows and stuff. Oh, that looks quite red. <laughs> but yeah, you just go around wiping your face. And it should come out looking like pretty natural. Yes. And there you go. Does it or does it not look like I have makeup on? And then really my brows, I think they're looking really good. I think they've kind of gone, you know, settled down 
maybe they'll fade like a little bit more but even if they don't i don't think it's bad but yeah i will see you guys maybe today maybe tomorrow definitely tomorrow if i don't see you today hey y'all so i'm doing laundry and i figured that i would go ahead and show you like a few things i got from walmart yesterday because this is like give you an idea of like what i'm bringing y'all know i love my flavored waters so i'm gonna show y'all that of course freaking sanitizer girl we got sick last time got covid me and control not trying to do that this year especially because they go to school like pretty much right as we get back so yeah we're gonna be sanitizing it up uh also the sunscreen like irritates the heck out of our eyes and i was like for the life of me did not realize why you need face sunscreen so we got face sunscreen and then i also got body sunscreens so these are like brand new so we know for sure we will not run out hopefully none of us are going to burn but i have some australian gold like after sun stuff so i'm gonna bring that as well but i got a i got more water packets but i'm keeping them home but this these are the ones that i'm bringing actually do i want to bring this one how does this one taste with mermaid? Because all I'm bringing is I have a little squirt bottle thing of the mermaid skinny syrups. By the way, if you guys want to save on skinny syrups, the Jordan skinny syrups, I use them every single day in my waters. I freaking love them. Coupon code is uh, MGE10. We'll save you 10%. I'll also link it down below if you want to use the link. But anyways, I got the, so the Sonic Ocean Water. This stuff is strong. It is very strong. It's very intense. So I honestly, for a 40 ounce bottle of water, I only use half a packet. And then I do a couple of splashes of the Mermaid. And this has been my new freaking favorite. But if you don't like it strong, if you don't like it sweet, then because i like my stuff sweet this was too strong for the entire packet and then, like i said that was 40 ounces of water so if you're doing just a regular bottle of water like a 16.9 ounce girl use like do do just a little bit because this is very 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 potent okay starburst all pink I, again i'm not sure i really like to use this with the strawberry skinny syrup and then also the vanilla almond skinny syrup that it's a perfect, it's so delicious. It tastes like strawberry shortcake. It is so freaking good. So I don't think I meant to, because I like this with cotton candy. I don't know if I'd like this with mermaid, but mermaid freaking goes with everything. And basically this is strawberry. So strawberry, pineapple, coconut. I think that'll go good too. But anyways, I also got pineapple and I'm bringing all of these because I know I'm not going to be the only one drinking flavored water. So um, I use uh, two packets a day and the kids might use, and I'm probably just going to put this like in a little Ziploc bag, but those are a few things I got for the cruise from Walmart yesterday. And I'm so excited. Like I'm in my new shirt. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in my new shorts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was thinking about getting my dress out. Let's just go ahead and do that. Should we? Yes, let's do that. Okay, so 100% we are taking this dress with us. I saw this. You guys actually haven't seen that Shein haul yet, but I will link this down below. It looks so good. You guys will, you guys will see it on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, this looks so good on me and my tan skin. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So this is 100% coming with me. And this, these shoes were also in that haul, but these look fabulous with that dress so i'm gonna wear these and these are also very 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 comfortable where i'm gonna be able to walk around and i won't feel the need to after dinner have to go back to the room and change and all that stuff because i'll probably just wear end up wearing that dress it gets very 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 comfortable it's a really great length it looks really great on and then these shoes are just perfection um, I do have to bring workout clothes because I am going to be doing 75 soft, which means I'm going to be working out every day. And I'm probably just going to walk around the track because, hello, like the view. <laughs> Why would I not? Um, so I'm, I've got my sneakers down here. So I'm just going to put my wedges right there on the sneakers. Uh, these are for the captain's dinner. Um, when I wore these with William to the Christmas in July gala, 
I was able to walk in them. They did hurt my feet a little bit. And I was kind of like, ooh, like just like very um, cautious about how much I was walking, like inside and stuff. But, or how much I was standing, really. It's not just stand walking, it's also standing. But I think I'll be okay for going to take pictures, going to dinner, and then after dinner, maybe changing shoes. Because I actually might want to wear that dress the, the whole night. Because I just, I love that dress. And I love being able to get use out of that dress. And this is the dress that I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about. This is the dress. It is so freaking gorgeous. I'm actually going to pull up pictures, or put up pictures, of me and William on the night that we went to the gala. He looked amazing. He looks so freaking handsome. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. Like, his suit, oh, he looks so good. Anyways, um, this right here, just, oh, just so freaking beautiful. I love it. It's so fl flirty and feminine and it's just, it's perfect for a Bahamas cruise in the summer. So taking that with me, that's two. We need five. Y'all, this is literally so hard. Like I'm looking at all my dresses and I'm like, how do I choose? This one I wore the other day um, when I went out to dinner with my parents I will put up the picture of me and the kids. It's a beautiful picture. Like I was like, oh my gosh, this picture came out so good. But this dress, so freaking comfortable. I will link it down below. It's from Shein. Oh my gosh. It is so good. Like I'm talking perfect length, perfect amount of, gives you shape, but also isn't clingy. It just feels so good. And I feel so confident and I look so good in this. So while I don't like want to, resort to black you know we're gonna do it we're gonna do it because it's just such a good dress and again with those wedges wear it to dinner and i will be able to whatever it is that we do after dinner i will be fine walking around and all that stuff so the only thing about dresses if we go on to the little deck that's where you're not fine <laughs> in these shorter dresses because whew. so i might just have to wear some like biker shorts or something underneath. I don't know. Although I really don't want to because you already know it's going to be humid as heck. So anyways, let's find dress number four. This is not as, well, it's going to be hard because I have a lot to choose from. So let's see. Okay. So this is another dress. Love it. So sexy. It looks so good on me. And while again, it's like a little dressier and this could also be really good for the, I'm, um, because I'm thinking of the picture. Kentrell's going to be wearing burgundy. Ava's going to be wearing black, but she's also going to be wearing this dress because we got the same dress. I don't know what to do because of the fact that like, hmm. do I want to be wearing the same dress? Because in the pictures, I feel like, how does mint and burgundy look together? I'm really bad about matching colors. So I just, I, I was worried about like, is the mint gonna go good? Cause Ava's wearing black. So obviously the mint and black are gonna be fine together. But I'm thinking of the picture cause I'm definitely getting a picture. So I'm just like, hmm, is that what I wanna do? But I think so. I think we'll be fine, but um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack this. It's not gonna take up a lot of space. I'm wanting to, I'm thinking about doing this on the first night. And you know what? It's a cruise. So like if you dress up and be a little extra, like that is the time to be a little dressy and a little extra. You know what I mean? So these are all going to be nighttime dresses. I also have dresses that I want to wear during the day because I have like more sporty dresses. Um, Y'all, this is so exciting. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this again. It's so Okay, and then we have this one, which I think also makes a really great dinner dress, but this could also be a really great around the ship during the day, depending on what we're doing kind of dress. It could also be a great cover up when I'm in the Bahamas. So I'm definitely taking this. I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it to a dinner or if I'm gonna wear it around the ship or if I'm gonna wear it as a cover up to the Bahamas. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that one is definitely coming. And also, I know it's black, but look, I feel so confident and comfortable and I feel so good in this dress. I have to take it, so hold on. 
this one. This one from Shein. Again, this is probably just going to be... My battery died. What else is new? But this one, whether I wear it to dinner or just like around the ship or whatever, it's just... It's a sporty, cute dress that I feel really, really, really good in. So again, I could wear this as a cover-up to the Bahamas because we're going to two places in the Bahamas. One is we're going to do... And one is Nassau. And I was thinking, I'm like, Nassau, what do we do? I don't just want to roam around aimlessly. I also don't really care to see Atlantis. I mean, maybe one day, but like when I think about the Bahamas, I immediately just go to beaches and water. Like that's all I want to do. So that's when I discovered the dolphin encounter and I was, well, actually I had seen the dolphin encounter and I was like, do I want to spend the money? Uh, I love dolphins. I'm like, it's 100% worth it. So I was like, let's just do it. And anyways, this would still be a really good dress to wear as a cover up over my bathing suit to wear around the Bahamas. Um, so if we do it in Nassau or the other one is just the private island that we went to last time. This time I rented a locker, although now I have my safe, I really didn't need to. It's fine. Um, but I rented a locker and I also got the little clamshells, they call them. But they're the little shades that go over because girl, we ain't playing this time. I mean, in December it was, well, it was actually January 1st. January, it was fine because the weather was like literally perfection and it wasn't so like it's too hot oh my gosh we're dying without question I forgot about this one now this one is backless and I do have to go braless with this one and then it also has this really beautiful slit which I'm going to stitch up so it's not like super like high or whatever and then I'm also going to stitch right here this is definitely going to be a dinner dress and it is just beautiful and again, I can wear it with those black wedges, call it a day. So all of my dinner dresses, one, two, three, four, five. These five right here. The green one off the shoulder. Y'all, by the way, I'm gonna show y'all all outfits of the days, me dressed up for dinner, all that kind of stuff when I do my cruise vlogging. I might, let me know in the comments down below, do you want a specific separate video just for vacation? outfits that I'm wearing but this dress right here again it's so comfortable I feel so confident in it it's so good and I feel really good in it so I'm going to bring that one and then this sexy one again I might do this one or I might do this one it just depends on my mood but either way I'm bringing both of them and I really want to have the confidence to wear this because I really 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 love that dress and I'm kind of like where else am I going to wear it to I mean I know like I'm going to like places now and I have a social life more than I ever have. I mean, so I might, I might, but I just want to go ahead and wear it. And then of course this one. So these are my dinner dresses. Okay. So we have this one. I actually wore this when Contrell went to prom and I wore it really specifically so I could get out of my comfort zone, but also for the pictures. This is part of the Shein Vacay line, and I really like this a lot. I feel like I look really good in it, and it also goes great with those wedges. <coughs> so here's dress number one, dress number two, dress number three. I also am going to need workout clothes, but not all workout clothes because hold on. Three. Oh, perfect. Dress number four. This one is from Hilera. I will link it down below. You can use coupon code Miss Green Eyes. I believe and I think it saves you 15% but yeah this I love this because it has the shorts these are the shorts that I will be wearing up underneath a lot of these dresses especially this one because this one is a little shorter but I love it it looks so good on that I was like you just I just can't not but this is going to be on a day where this is going to be my workout outfit and it's also going to be, you know what? I don't need five outfits. So I think that this is perfect. That's everything that I'm gonna pack with addition of I'm going to pack some workout shorts, Fabletics. I'll link Fabletics down below. Like I said, they have the best, the absolute best. I'm also going to bring, which I know those black ones, the black wedges are like perfect, but look. I have these. These are the ones I ended up keeping, by the way, if y'all saw that vlog where I was like, Ugh, I bought all these shoes. I don't know which ones I'm taking to the Bahamas. Let me know which ones you think. So these I'm wearing 
when we are actually in the Bahamas going to the island, going to Nassau, because I know on the beaches we're going to be doing a lot of walking. These can also go in the water if I need to or want to. And so these are my Bahamas shoes. And then those could also actually be shoes that I wear with the dresses. Uh, these shoes. These are very, very, very cute. I also got them from Shein. They're so freaking comfortable. And they're going to go with a lot of the stuff that I have as well. So that way I'll just have... I just have options. I like to have options, okay? And then these ones, same thing. They're not as high of a, of a wedge. So they're incredibly comfortable. They're like super cushiony. I will try to find all of this, by the way, and link it down below for you guys. But yeah, freaking absolutely love. And like I said, I'm pretty much done packing. I have picked out all of my outfits except for what I'm wearing to Charleston. I need another outfit. Another workout, a couple, couple more workout outfits, and I'm done. So, woohoo! Bahamas, here we come. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow because, yeah. By the way, like packing and stuff, I'm literally just going to pack things. I mean, I might vlog that, I might not. We'll see how much footage I have, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I think that I'm going to hide in Somewhere by a gate and star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade oh. I could be the one who saved you from the play We could be as one and the escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel it, it burns inside Take away the pain, we can go insane I can feel it, it burns inside Happy Sunday! Y'all, do I have a story for you! <laughs> I'm literally leaving to go to Charleston tomorrow. I'm going to the fitness marshal today. And yesterday, my car decided it just wanted to not start the battery. We're hoping it's just the battery. <sighs> First of all, I have to give a big shout out to my boyfriend. Thank God for him. That's all I'm gonna say. Because if I did not have him, have like roadside assistance and stuff like that but uh, girl I just I'm just gonna say I'm so thankful for him because he handled everything and like he saw how stressed out I was and he was just really good he's just freaking amazing like when I say I'm not gonna freaking cry uh, I can't stop crying <laughs> but when I say I hit the jackpot with this one holy shit like he is like nothing short of freaking amazing and like generous and kind and my gosh like it's like what did I do to deserve this like he is so freaking amazing in so many ways but anyways <laughs> the, and the, the funny thing is I'm, I'm so grateful like God is like so amazing like how everything worked out right so control was not supposed to work yesterday and he was like hey can I pick up a shift and I'm like yeah absolutely so, William was over there so we could, like, you know, like, spend time together before, you know, I gotta leave and stuff. And so, I was like, do you want to drive? Do you want me to drive? Because we were taking control to work and then we were going to go to Walmart. And he's like, it doesn't matter. And I was like, you know what? You drive all the time. I'll drive. So, we get in my car and it doesn't start. And I, it was at that moment that I was like, holy shit, what if this happened right before, like, today? Right before I was about to leave to go see the fitness marshal. Yo, I would have missed it. Like, I mean, unless William was there and he probably could have taken me. But that probably would have been the last thing on my mind. Because what would have been on my mind is like, holy shit, I'm going to miss the fitness marshal. But holy shit, I need to go get a battery because of the fact that I have to go to Charleston tomorrow. 
you know? So, oh, they just thank God, all, thank God everything happened the way that it did. So William was able to take us to Walmart. We ended up getting this little thing, which is what I showed y'all. It is a lifesaver, and if you are a single woman, if you are, even if you're married, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Everybody and their mother needs one of these in their car. And I will link it down below. I will link one from Amazon. But this one also has like an air compressor. Basically what you do is you charge it, okay, like in your house. You leave it in your car. So anytime you your battery ever dies, like just for that just in case. But also in my case right now, where I don't have a battery that is allowing my car to start without something like this. I don't have any, I don't have to rely on anyone to jump my car off or anything like that. I have it, it's portable, it's so easy to use. Like when I tell you, I was like, holy crap, yes sir, I learned a lot, I learned a lot. Cause I didn't even know where, how to pop my hood. Like I had to call William last night when I went to go get control cause I was like, I don't know how to pop my hood. Like, and then I'm like, do I, take the little thing off to shut it and he's like no it's like on hydraulics and it just you just close it and I'm like huh girl I don't know when I say I know nothing about cars I know nothing about cars I'm gonna stop light right now so this is what it looks like this is the little power button this is the little charger like it is amazing I'll tell you the specs when I get home and stuff like that or put it on the screen but you freaking need this in your car if you do not already have one it is freaking genius and that's the way I was able to get control last night from work and that is the way that I'm able to take my car right now because we got a battery too, but we forgot to get these certain tools and then I didn't have what, what he needed and and he tried to, to get it and then he was like, you know what, I really don't think I could do it because there's something in front of it and it's a really big battery. So he was like, I don't think I'm a, I, I don't think I can do this. You're gonna have to take this to Walmart if you have time or if you want to or you know, he's like, I recommend you go get this done like ASAP tomorrow, like get up early, do what you have to do, and then you could use this to tie you over. You could still use this to get you to Charles. I was like, I don't trust it, I don't trust it. I'm going to I'm going to make it a priority to wake up. So when I tell you, because I got over like 9,000 steps in yesterday. I was not supposed to work out. Like, I was supposed to do yoga. I was supposed to have a really chill, like, do nothing kind of day. But I'm so grateful that everything ended up the way that it ended up yesterday. Because again, had Contrell not, we would have never gotten in a, into a car, period. Had he not picked up that shift. So thank you, Jesus, always looking out. Because what would I have, to, I would have missed the fitness marshal and I would have been freaking devastated. And again, I'm sure William would have been like, oh, I'll take you. But like my mind would have been like, we need to go get this battery. Like we need to go figure this out. And you know, it's Sunday, so people close early. So anyways, I'm here at Walmart. I don't know where the hell their auto center is. So I got to figure that out. But I will link this baby down below. I guess it's like, are the auto like in the back of the store? Or on the side um but freaking lifesaver and oh <laughs> to make things even more awesome for me last night <clears throat> don't even ask me why I did this because I didn't think about it until I got upstairs last night and I was like why did I put that in the trunk because literally when the battery's dead nothing works I couldn't even like when I got inside my car with the manually with my key I could not even unlock the door to get in the back seat. So I had to crawl from here, cause I put this in the freaking trunk. I had to crawl from here, all the way in the back, get the thing, and that wasn't bad. It was coming back up, where I was like, oh, <laughs> I, I think, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back, get back up here. Thank God I did, obviously. But, whoo, girl, it's been a day already. I don't know where I'm supposed to be parking my car. There's parking spots back here. So I'm just going to park here. And then do you have to walk around or no, there's a door right there. Okay, cool. I have the battery right here in my car. So they should do it for free. And hopefully I'm like one of the first people here. So hopefully I won't have to wait too, too long. But yeah, that's my, my eventful Sunday and Saturday. But we're going to see the fitness marshal, fitness marshal today. So woo! -hoo! And tomorrow... We are Bahamas bound. Oh my gosh! I'm literally 
going to meet the fitness marshal. Y'all, I am so emotional today because I literally have been blessed with like the best, most amazing boyfriend of life. And I'm just like so emotional because I'm just so grateful. Let me tell y'all, first of all, it was a hell of a morning, okay? I went to Walmart, they told me, no, we can't change this. It's it's like a professional, whatever, try over O'Reilly's. And I'm sitting here thinking in my head, if, if it's like, if y'all can't do it, surely O'Reilly's can't do it, but okay, I'll go. And they were super nice there at O'Reilly's and they were like, yeah, no, you're gonna need to take this somewhere else. And I'm like, it's Sunday. I leave tomorrow to go on a cruise. I gotta drive to Charleston. Like, I'm like, low-key freaking out at this point like what am I going to do right so <sighs> she's like well you know try try Firestone like that's the only thing that I can think of right now because the National Tire and Battery they're closed on Sundays and like all these like mechanics and stuff closed so I'm like okay so I call Firestone and they're like you know it's gonna be this much and I'm like what the hell like and then of course you can't use the battery you've got to purchase their battery um, cause it's liability and all this kind of stuff, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. So anyways, I go to Firestone, we get the battery in, like, put in there, and then I have to go back to Walmart to return the battery that we got yesterday, <sighs> and it was just such a hassle, because they were like, go to customer service desk, and the customer service desk was like, oh no, you need to go to the auto place, and so I went to the auto place, and I'm like, holy, I'm like walking all around this damn store, and, um, Anyways, it definitely was not the morning that I was expecting. Yesterday was not the day I was expecting. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna take a nap. Girl, I, well, first of all, I started talking to my kids and I was just like talking to them about like, just like, you know, not settling for bare minimum. Like go, going for, going for people who go above and beyond because I go and I know they will go above and beyond for whoever their partners are in the future. So it's like, William freaking goes above and beyond. And like, I feel like I'm the one who's just like, what can I do for you? Because like, holy shit, you know what I mean? Like, you are amazing. Like everything I prayed for and more. So I'm telling you guys this, because if you are like me and you have been like waiting for years, like y'all, I have been single for what felt like forever. Like five years, right? I got divorced in 2019. Before that, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 four years divorced okay and it's been hard I've prayed and and just never like but I never lost hope that's one thing I will say is I never lost hope but I would be like God come on like really you're gonna keep me waiting and I'm so glad that he did because this man is everything that I've dreamed of and more and I know y'all are like oh you well, you don't really know him it's only been two and a half almost three months actually but it's like when you know you freaking know when you know you've met a good person you know you've met a good person like I know that there are some people who are like psychotic and like they're apparently really good at like masking themselves but I feel like I'm also trusting myself because I feel like my intuition is really good because I'm gonna be honest those people red flags and I always pick up on them, but I always just make excuses for them. And then when I finally decided, like, absolutely not anymore, that's when I knew I was going to meet, like, the best guy to ever, like, grow this earth. You know what I mean? Like, freaking amazing. I, I just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I was literally crying on the phone with him. Like, he's so good with, like, mm. He's just so good. I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyways, I'm about to freaking meet Caleb and Allison and Haley, and I will see you guys in this thing, and we'll meet the fitness marshal together. I'm so excited. Okay, bye guys.
Transition to Mark. But oh. do you keep screaming? And the screams just happen for a minute. And then we start out. Okay. okay. Cool. Go, 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 go. I'm counting on all of you to cheer even if you don't care. <laughs>
want you to remember that you're a bad bitch. You deserve to love your body. Because no matter what journey you're on, your body got you here to this point, and it's going to get you to wherever you're going. You better love it, no matter where it is. Yeah. Not even so. Y'all, I just have to say that was amazing. I am literally drenched. I've, I mean, ugh, God, what can I say? Like, first of all, I'm so embarrassed. I told Haley, I was like, you are so sexy. Girl, when I tell you, you know, like when you have to like get up to like give a speech or something and your voice is all quiver. Oh, I was literally shaking. I was so nervous to meet them. I wasn't nervous to be there alone. No, I was nervous to meet them. Like, what am I going to say? <laughs> But they were so nice, and oh my gosh, like, I just love them so much. I got really great pictures. I actually got some great footage. Hopefully, I have no idea what the audio sounds like, but y'all will hear by the time, that is a short ass light, y'all will hear by the time you see this, whether it was good audio or not, and maybe you'll hear me embarrass myself telling Haley she's so hot. <laughs> She is though. She's she's no. I said she's so sexy. Oh my gosh, it's even worse. That is so bad. You're so sexy, but she is though. And you know what? Let me stop. Let me stop saying that that's so bad because you know what? We as women, we need to uplift each other. We need to spread positivity. I told Allison she's beautiful. She's amazing. I love her. Like Caleb. Like I wanted to say like so much more, but literally I got cut off and I was like excuse me but I know they're on a they're on a schedule but let me tell you they were um it literally poured down rain first of all they were a little late I was supposed to like I thought doors opened at 2 30 and I didn't get in the door until 2 3 30 so I had to wait in line for an hour didn't love that too much but I understand and they really did take their time as much as they could with everyone they're super nice and positive and just I had a freaking blast like I sat there like as I was dancing like this is my this is my happy place and I'm not gonna freaking cry again <laughs> this is my happy place this is where I feel like I belong I love the fitness marshal because all shapes all sizes it doesn't matter your fitness level you will be able to keep up and that's why I continue to stick with him all the freaking time and I love him so much because not only is he funny he's positive he's uplifting he's everything he's a great dancer but he's also just so freaking inclusive when you want to talk about someone taking a dance class that's inclusive him 100% 100% and then oh, his dance class or his dance instructor like when he really fell in love with dance she had her there oh my gosh it was just it was great they had like these little videos that they played in between their little like changes and uh it was amazing 100 percent worth every single penny i spent 100 percent and i'd do it again if they come to charlotte if they ever come to charlotte again like 100 percent. as a matter of fact i might even drive to atlanta if they ever, ever went to atlanta but this is the little thing i got a little lanyard i'll show y'all when i get closer but um Actually, no, because I'm going to end right here. I'm going to end this vlog on a really high note. I've got a lot of crap to do when I get home, so I really won't be able to talk to y'all. But I go on my cruise tomorrow, and I am just so freaking excited. Like, what an amazing start to an amazing vacation that I'm about to take with my babies. Like, I am so blessed to have them. I'm so blessed to be their mom. And, like, I literally have the greatest freaking kids in the world. Like... What y'all see is not a freaking act. Like they are the most kindest, generous souls I've ever met in my life. And they are just amazing human beings. So I love you guys so much. I can't look at y'all right now because I'm looking at the road. But thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing these moments with me. Um, y'all got to meet William, Mr. Virtual, this vlog. And he is absolutely amazing. And he's so good to me. He's so good to the kids and i'm just so blessed and now i get to go with my kids and go on a cruise and go to the bahamas and swim with dolphins so you guys will see that vlog next sunday we're so freaking excited we get to go on a private island like i'm just so excited and i could not be more happy 
and thank you guys all again so much for everything that y'all do for me every link that you click every code that you use of mine to support me and my kids thank you so much thank you for um just everything thank you for every like every comment every view thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart like the fitness marshal caleb he was talking about like we are not an overnight success and and they've been doing it for 10 years and i don't know if you guys know this but i've been i've been doing youtube since 2010 so i've been doing it for 13 years and yes i'm successful enough obviously to be able to do um what I'm doing and do it full time but I know I haven't reached that level and I know I haven't reached the level in which God's going to bring me and I know that I'm going to be able to share the fact of like I'm not an overnight success either because I have busted my butt so much and I just I love what I do I love my job and it's just amazing and I ended this week or this this weekly vlog on a high note because I'm, I did I did the thing that I do that I enjoy more than anything in this whole entire world and that is dancing good energy good people good vibes Ugh, just amazing and I thank you guys again so very much I love you all so 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 very much have an amazing day and I'll see you guys I'll see you on Tuesday with a video but then as far as vlogs are concerned I will see you guys next Sunday with our cruise log and it actually might be into two parts like I did my last one so we'll just see but I love you guys thank you so much and be kind in the comments tell William hey I was about to say hey girl hey but he's not a girl hey boy hey <laughs> um, Mr. Fabulous but miss no what did he say fabulous miss ma'am <laughs> tell him tell William hey miss hey fabulous miss ma'am um, but yeah, you guys are amazing. I love you. Have an amazing day. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>